Yes, we're recording. Okay. Are you recording? Yep. All right, I'm standing here with George. George, tell us your full name. George Blake. George Blake and I are standing on Hollywood Boulevard. We are just talking about some issues that are close to my heart. But I think it's ironic that we are on Hollywood Boulevard where all the action goes down and we have no idea who these white people are that are the stars <laughs> that we're standing on. Let's take a look. Does anybody know? Henry O'Neill. Now, I might, I might be on some real hood shit by not knowing that. <laughs> but I'm gonna take that risk. Who's this dude? We got Ted Hussing. I don't know. I, I don't know who they are, but I know they're white. So, so George, we're gonna talk some, about some current events. Recently, Leslie Jones, a very funny female comedian, was on SNL and she made some jokes all about slavery. Did you see the clip? Yes, I saw the clip. A lot of people are hating on her because of that clip. Yeah, they are, and it's a little bit ridiculous because the first the complaint was we need black female comedians on SNL, then we get one, and she's not good enough for something. The fact of the matter is, it's comedy, people. If you don't laugh, then that joke's not meant for you. Okay, that was really angry. I was going for some little, a little less stressful. Okay. No, I'm chilling. No, I'm, I'm actually, uh, hold on, I fucked that up. Okay. So the, the other question I wanted to ask you is, did you laugh? Did you find, did you find it offensive at all? No, I didn't find it offensive because she was telling the truth. Actually, she would have been the Tyra Banks of her day. I mean, come on now. She would have been walking the runway in the latest slave way. That's right. That's right. I feel you. I'm hearing you on that. I mean, I don't understand. If I just want to put my two cents in, I don't understand why people pretend like slavery didn't happen. Like, since when do black people tell other black people to not talk about slavery? It's not like some Africans got on a plane, first class, and flew over here and declared in perfect English. We are niggas now. We are niggas now. And that's, one, that's one part of it, but the other part is we got to learn to laugh at things, you know? We keep going so serious with everything, we miss the point of it. And I thought she was hilarious. I'm glad she's on SNL, and I say keep doing your shit. That's right. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is earlier today, I put a photo on Facebook. Facebook asked me to tag this other man. They thought it was me. So it was like, you know, it's like first Samuel L. And, and Lawrence Fishburne and now me and some girl named Janet Russo that looks like she might be mixed. Well, I know what you mean because actually every time I go somewhere, somebody's like, Bob Marley. I'm like, he has been dead since I've been born. Am I the second coming to Bob Marley? I don't think so because I would have a lot more money right now and maybe a little more respect. And probably some more ass, too. Well, you know, I don't know about that. <laughs> depends on what you mean by ass. What's that? I said, depends on what you mean by ass. Which, I do all right. Which, which ass? We know which ass you don't want. <laughs> I'm going after his ass. <laughs> Thank you, George Blake. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by.